The solitary campfire crackled and spit, casting a flickering glow across the weathered face of the lone figure seated beside it. Johnny, dead shot, West slowly turned the cylinder of his pearl-handled revolver, inspecting each chamber by firelight. The monotonous task usually calmed his restless spirit, but tonight uncertainty plagued him. For years he had roamed this harsh frontier, seeking purpose. Hunting wanted men had earned him respect, if not fulfillment. Now in his prime, what more was there? Deadshot slid the revolver into its holster with a twirl and leaned back against his saddle, gazing up at the glittering swath of stars overhead. The vastness of it all made his worldly troubles feel small. With a weary sigh, he pulled his worn leather hat down over his eyes and tried to rest. The raucous clamor of the Crow's Perch Saloon stirred Deadshot from his brooding. He sat nursing a whiskey at the dusty bar as inebriated patrons stumbled about the cramped room behind him, their slurred conversations melding into an incessant din. Twelve pounds of raw gold it was, a grizzled prospector blurted out. Stash it in an old miney by Blackjack Mallory and his gang after the payroll robbery. But they gunned down the whole posse before they could haul it out. Now they's the only souls that know its location. Deadshot's ears pricked up. He casually glanced over his shoulder, noting the man's eager companions leaning in with keen interest as he continued. That ornery snake Mallory's got a $5,000 bounty on his head now, alive or dead. Ain't no lawman dared go after him, though. Not in them remote parts. The old-timer shook his head and laughed. But I tell you, any fool gunslinger who could bring that devil in and pry the whereabouts of that gold out of him would be set for life. Deadshot stroked his stubbled chin thoughtfully as the men carried on, drunken schemes growing wilder by the minute. For months, he had longed for purpose, and fortune had always tempted him. Perhaps this was the answer. Later that night, alone in his quiet room, Deadshot studied the stained wanted poster of Mallory by Lantern Light. The infamous outlaw was rough-hewn yet handsome, with shoulder-length blonde hair and piercing blue eyes that seemed to taunt any challenger. Deadshot traced his fingers over the faded map on the flimsy sheet. A remote canyon area was circled in red, presumably the gold's location. Deadshot opened a trunk and extracted a bundle of worn papers. Maps, scrawled journal pages, faded photographs, mementos of his old treasure hunting days. The risks had been profound, but the rewards profound as well. Wealth, glory, adventure, all within his grasp, until luck turned on him. He fingered the polished walnut grip of his holstered revolver, feeling the raised notch of each kill. The ghosts of past deeds haunted him still. Could he risk it all again? The lantern burned low as Deadshot poured over each artifact, memories and longings swirling through his mind. Dawn's first light found him bleary-eyed but resolved, hastily packing supplies into his saddlebags with renewed vigor. Purpose flowed through him once more as he saddled his bay stallion and galloped west towards destiny. The seeming endlessness of the rugged land soothed Deadshot's anticipation as he traversed valley and plain. Sparse trees and boulders broke up the panorama, hinting at discoveries just beyond each ridge. He avoided settlements, relying on his survival skills to sustain him. At a marsh-bound trapper's shack, he traded silver for clues on Mallory's whereabouts, which set him northward into ever more remote badlands. Riding up a winding switchback, Deadshot reined his lathered horse atop a forested ridge. He removed his hat and soaked in the stunning vista, keen eyes scouring the rippling carpet of trees and valleys, unfurling to the distant mountains. Somewhere out there, amidst this vastness, lay the answers he sought. Spurring his horse onward, Deadshot embraced the rising exhilaration. By the dancing flames of his lonely campfire, Deadshot again inspected the frayed map and wanted poster, renewing his commitment. Tomorrow, he would reach the settlement of Clearwater beyond the mountains. If luck held, he might finally pick up Mallory's trail. He bit off a mouthful of sizzling rabbit, savoring the prospect ahead. Dawn cast its rosy fingers across the landscape as Deadshot's horse clattered over the wooden threshold into Clearwater. Heading directly to the saloon, Deadshot moved through the already rowdy room flashing Mallory's likeness, gruffly offering rewards for information. 
One by one, the ranch hands and trappers shrugged in apology, the outlaw's face unfamiliar. As the sun dipped behind the ridgelines, Deadshot stood on the outskirts of town, gazing towards the glowing badlands that stretched to the horizon. Somewhere out there, Mallory lurked. And the gold. Deadshot knew fortune favored the bold. He would not turn back now. Digging his heels into his horse's flanks, he rode on alone into the deepening twilight, undeterred by the deadly risks that may await in the untamed wilderness. The high whinny of horses drew Deadshot's attention to the secluded barn to get against the hillside. Killing his lantern, he stealthily dismounted and circled the perimeter, noting the fresh prints and manure. Crouching low beneath a darkened window, he slid a slender blade from his boot and used it to gently lift the latch. As the door creaked open, Deadshot burst in. Twin nickel-plated pistols leveled in a wide stance. For an instant, all was stillness as Mallory and his rough-hewn gang froze mid-motion to stare down the intruder. Then chaos erupted. Mallory's men scrambled for cover behind straw bales and stalls, flipping tables to shield them as they returned fire. The barn exploded with gun thunder and lead. Deadshot ducked and rolled, firing with precise shots during each lull that sent the outlaws scattering. But the gang was determined and rallied for a counterattack. A shotgun blast from the shadow slammed Deadshot sideways, sending him crashing through weakened boards onto the hay-strewn floor below. Dazed, he strained to raise his revolver, only to find himself peering straight into Mallory's smirking pistol barrel. Reckon this is the end of the trail for you, friend? Mallory sneered as the rest of his gang formed a deadly semicircle, cutting off any escape. Bleeding and outgunned, Deadshot knew he had only one desperate gamble left. This would take more than speed or accuracy. He met Mallory's taunting gaze steadily. Doesn't have to be. I know about the gold stash. Help me retrieve it and I'll cut you in for half. Mallory narrowed his eyes, hesitating. The vulnerability in Deadshot's words seemed genuine, and a chance at that fortune was mighty tempting, even split two ways. Slowly, he lowered his pistol. You've got grit, stranger. What's your handle? Name's West. Folks call me Deadshot. Mallory flashed a roguish grin and spat in his palm before extending his hand to help Deadshot up. Welcome to the outfit, Deadshot. Later by the fire, Mallory traced a finger over a rough map, explaining the gold's secluded location in relation to landmarks. Deadshot knew well. His enthusiasm was infectious, stirring Deadshot's long dormant craving for adventure. For the first time in ages, Deadshot felt he was exactly where he needed to be. At dawn, the two unlikely partners rode forth into the Badlands under an orange-streaked sky. Deadshot flexed his keen eyes, alert for danger, yet exhilarated for whatever lay ahead. Beside him, Mallory whistled merrily, fantasizing on the riches nearly within grasp. Their quest had just begun.